Thank you, Craig. The fitness gram pacer test is a multi-stage aerobic capacity test that progressively gets more difficult as it continues. The 20-meter pacer test will begin in 30 seconds. Line up at the start. The running speed starts slowly, but gets faster each minute after you hear this signal. A single lap should be completed each time you hear this sound. Remember to run in a straight line and run as long as possible. The second time you fail to complete a lap before the sound, you're just... The test will begin on the word start. On your mark, get ready, start. Welcome to the podcast. Oh, well, here it is. You want to do the intro? I'll let us start running. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hello, welcome to the Dumb Bum Podcast. I am your host today, Dan. Today we are going to be talking about Warhammer and Warhammer models, more specifically. Not this. I'm not ready. No. You said just Warhammer related topics. Yeah. Oh, I, 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 I said that. What's it called? We were pro. Um. Uh. That's what we're going to try and do at the very least, but we're probably just going to have it to the point where we're going to get on one tangent. It's just going to ruin the entire topic. Based off of what I heard earlier, it's going to it's going to divulge into Squid Game. But no, that's no. you hear from this. Not that Squid Game. Oh, the, the other, other Squid Game. The good Squid, squid Game. The okay. Squid well, Game? Oh, oh yeah. you saw that too. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, no, we're talking you- Oh yeah, we're, but, talking, uh, we're talking grimdark now, right now, baby. Come on. So, Evan, you have any models you're working on right now? It's a really boring I... conversation, but okay. Um... Wow. Okay. Fine. <laughs> Fuck you. Hi. I've been working. I just primed like a bunch of a bunch of tyranids. Oh yeah, you and... sent that picture. You finally primed everything. Well, that that's half. That's only half. That's only half. Yeah, I still have to yeah. build a bunch of the gargoyles, Hormagons, Tormagons. Oh, you did buy his gargoyle. He did buy my gargoyle. Well, well, I bought his dinner, so I had to. You also just bought, like, five chickens from the photos you sent. It was two chickens, and I did a great job butchering them. Yeah, you toss their bones and make a witch stew. I should also clarify, I know nothing about Warhammer other than uh, Tyranids, and the word brother is used a lot. Brother, you are pinned there. I'm pinned here. Uh, to take 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 my take take my Warhammer virginity. Where where do we start? How do we start? Well, where, where did you want to start? So I hear there's this big man. Yes, like Jimmy what's his Space. name? Like yeah, like the All Father. What whatever the fuck Jimmy they call Space. him? Jimmy Space. Yeah, creator of the Space Marines. This is a bit. <laughs> this is a bit. <laughs> Evan, is this a bit? <laughs> is Jimmy Space the actual name of, like, the All Father? He'll never tell you. The fact that I'm just looking at a picture of Adam Sandler's Dracula waiting for it to glow green. I think he died. We're gonna find out. Uh, he's actually been disconnected. And that we oh. can't hear him. We're gonna see how long that takes. So, if you were to get an army, what, what kind of army would you get? I think I think my options were like either Tyranids or Space Wolves, just because. Oh, oh there! I told you. <laughs> uh, no, no, well, I I heard you, but I was wondering what the fuck was going on in my thing. Your fucking snowball is broken, Dan. Oh yeah, Dan said the wire was Stop. fucked, wasn't it? Yeah. Also, wow, it's wow. not my snowball anymore. It's your snowball. Wow, it's your g- snowball. G- g- giving me faulty hardware. Hardware, were you? You're the one. Oh, your like audio the, sounds the, like this Graham Pacer I'm, test. You, you know, you know exactly what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to take away your time on the podcast so I have more time to talk. We're trying to get then. you to also buy a Yeti. Go, go on, tell tell Zach how fucking stupid he was for believing that Jimmy Space was real. No, fuck <laughs> <off>. <laughs> I do. Listen, listen. We don't know his real name. He's just known as the Emperor. So f- yeah. So Jimmy Space. That's that's still up there. It could be. It could be one of his other. All, his his name is his name is the Emperor of Mankind, also known as the God Emperor of Mankind, also known as the Omnissiah, also um, known as the Corpse Emperor, also known as yeah, uh, uh, yeah, uh, uh, also known as the the fucking 
The False Shepherd. I'm, I'm sorry, The False Shepherd? Yeah. yeah. That's he's a good name. At, he's very bad at flocking sheep. Exactly. It's, it, it, he's known for being horse shit at it. Why does it seem like that Warhammer is just composed of a lot of band names? Because uh, it kind of is. The, not, the, the, the Flesh well, Terrors? Like, the World really Eaters? Known. It's not The Jedi, Blood Angels? But yes. Like what you said, like like the false shepherd sounds the tremendous. black templar <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the salamanders, the sal. <laughs> well, that's just a species. You, no, the space you, you wolves are also just a species, but you know, they're in no, space. Yeah, yeah. no the, 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 there's two very very specific and distinct things being either fucking either they're named after something fucking metal or they're named after animals. There's or? there is no there is no in between. Um, uh, I was gonna say or, but yeah, really, there is no in between. There, there is no in between. Exactly, that's what I mean. All right, I will it, fully it, disclose. Oh, you were saying something. No, it's all good. I'll continue with continue to fully disclose something. Oh well, I was going to fully disclose. Uh, most of my Warhammer knowledge is just off YouTube and that one Bricky video that was broken mm -hmm. up into two parts, where it just told me about uh all the Space Marine chapters. And, and I'm all like, the oh wow. I was like, wow. wow, one of them is just really gay for, like, vampires. I mean, because they are vampires. I'm looking yeah, at you, like, guy that has, like, 5,000 points of fucking blood angels. Looking at you. Looking at you, Dante. Sad fuck. Thinking, like, wow, I like red paint. No kidding, I also really like red paint, so I don't blame you. But, like... <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> are you assaulting our viewers already? No, I'm assaulting that one man in particular that has 5,000 points of Blood Angels. <laughs> wow, get a man a new mic and he's a whole new person. Exactly. But yeah, Dan, do you want to start, or Dan and Evan, do you guys want to start with explaining to me uh, the Space Marines and the, and their, uh, their, their 12 angry dwarf uh, factions? Well, to explain oh, to you the fucking, yeah, there's 16. You're there's fucking 16. 16. Yes. Primark. True. Are those the leaders? Yes. Uh, uh, the guy, uh, yes. So th think of it like think of it like the Primarchs are sperm donors, and all the Space Marine chapters, legions, whatever, they're like the children from the sperm donor. Oh, so like the children are all clones? No, no, they're not clones. No, 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 no. no. Is something called the gene uh, seed? Are you a clone of your dad? Yes. I mean, kind of. Exactly. Kind of. It's <laughs> it's like they they share the same DNA, but they but they're not clones necessarily. Like they 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 have they have these little things built into them called gene seeds. It's basically sure. like it, it's like a little squish. It's one of like the different like the one of like the fucking like twelve fifteen shit that's put things that are put into them when they go because oh, yeah, they have like extra lungs and like extra yeah. Exactly, yeah. they're, 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 they're cut open like a sashimi rack. Um, uh, because originally they started as a normal human being. Uh, then like when when they when they prove themselves somehow, people are like, "We want you to be a space marine." And that well, well, well that prove. it's hey, true. are you a kid below fifteen? Come join the space marines. Exactly. Um. Uh. Usually they usually the parents have like technical choice in the matter. They could turn it down. No, but, like they don't. No, I thought no. they had like, I had the it, they it, they had the option it, to do it's so. It's more depends on the chapter, but if. If they need recruits, they're just ta they're taking your fucking child. That's true. That I don't think the Black Temple are even ask. I, I think you are, just wake up and your kid's gone. Honestly, are are you gonna stop Andre the Giant inside of a tank to <laughs> to not take your child? I'm gonna are ask you him to stop that after. from happening. I'm gonna Excuse ask him me. Yeah. Uh, another uh, another question related. Uh, yeah. Because this this scenario already reminds me. About how Halo just stole children to make Spartans. No, uh, it, it's like the exact same. Halo, Halsey. Oh, how Halsey uh, stole children the to make no, Spartans. No, nah, bro, Mr. Exactly. Halo. <laughs> Mr. John, John Halo. Halo. Yeah, Mr. John Halo. J Jimmy Halo. Jimmy exactly. Halo. Does <laughs> no John Halo and Jack Space? Does the Space Marine suit jerk them off? Yes. Uh. I could have uh, swore that they you, didn't it, have it, any sort of like. If your emperor's children, genitalia. yeah. Genitalia. Oh, they, they do have genitalia. But it's oh. L listen, the emperor's children genitalia. That that. 
That's it's fake really, genitalia. That's not the real that, genitalia. That's demon genitalia. That's DLC that's content right there. That's DLC genitalia. Exactly. DLC content. Just to kick it off a bit more, uh, do you boys want to tell me your favorite Warhammer, like, stories in the lore, I guess? Because well, I guess well, that's well, a good part to kick it off. Well, we'll tell you that. Well, yeah, we gotta finish talking about the fucking Marines. Oh, yeah, you're right. It's like, it's... <laughs> we're, we're, See, we're getting off tangents. We're being bouncy. Anyways. Exactly. Uh, Bouncy is good. The, the blue ones. What are the blue ones? The blue ones. Boring. Oh, Smurfs. <laughs> they have extra accounts? Yeah. Yeah. Huh. But, like, what are they about? Like, are they um, just, like, the, the, the post- vanilla boys? Yeah, are they, they, they John Space Marine? The, yeah, they, they, they are. They, each of them are named John Space Marine, um, and their and their dad is Jonathan Space Marine, and, and then no, their dad is Robot Girly Man. Come on, you're no, no, no. I was, I, I was, I was talking about Papa Smurf. You got that's oh, Grandpa. Right, yeah, thinking of. Right. yeah. Um, uh, and he's just Bro, called Daddy. People are gonna be listening to this <laughs> for actual like, like oh, they're talking about Warhammer. I wonder if like I'm, I'm looking at the get though, dude. Warhammer, I wonder if I could get like some beginner lore. Fucking Jimmy Space Robot Girly Man. <laughs> I know, yeah, we're already... Don't, don't listen to little. this podcast if you're looking for actual Warhammer lore. Well, well, There's listen, already out there. Li- 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 listen to us if you want to hear two shootheads attempt to regurgitate stuff they've heard from other videos and from the books yeah. they've read. <laughs> and have one guy I've, go, yes. <laughs> I have not read a single Warhammer book. Uh, really? You're missing out. Some of them are actually really yeah. fucking good. Like, I've read maybe ten words from my Tyranids Codex. Uh, <laughs> and all of them wow. were numbers? <laughs> yeah, 50 bucks well spent, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. You spent $50 yeah. on a play guide? It, it, yeah. And a shit ton of lore. It's a book on its own. It's a okay. book on its own. And Wait, it's how many pages is it? Uh, let me grab it. Yeah, it's it's like a hundred something pages at least. Okay. And they're also really big pages. Big pages for a bigger boy. Yeah. The one piece that I remember from recently is when I was out with you, Evan, telling me about uh was it like Death Leapers lore? Yeah, I was uh, I was telling you about Death Leaper. Death Leaper's pretty cool. Uh well, but like, we'll, we'll, we'll get to Death Leaper later. Exactly. We could always come back to Warhammer again because I feel like we'll make like a couple times. We'll just turn into a Deathless Ridiculous eventually and then oh, we no. No, you named it! You were supposed to go the whole podcast you said without it. naming them! You said the hey. words! Hey! That bookie's gonna hate us forever! Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to lose your subscription! No! <laughs> you <laughs> fool! Your Patreon! I doomed you! Uh. <laughs> anyway. But their uh, Discord uh, emotes are too good! <laughs> Man, it's gonna be crazy. This the second that we finish this podcast, we're gonna have to realize, oh, there's a fantasy section of Warhammer. Oh uh, no, 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 no. If anything, no, I'll no, talk see, about that. Here's the thing, though. Yeah. No, <laughs> no, that's the one no, part no. that I know. No, no, what do you fuck you? Dude, fantasy Warhammer. Is no, I get it. I get it. You played fifty turns of Total Warhammer. <laughs> Yeah, the playing as rats is fun. Ever can you play as goblins in um uh, Total War Warhammer real quick? Is, that, is goblins a race or are they just um, or are they just kind of lumped in with green? They're, they're lumps lumped in with the green skins, but there's a lord called Scarsnick where you cannot recruit orcs until you get a certain uh, uh settlement. Oh shit! You can play as Scarsnick. That's dope. Yeah. Dude, yes. dude, fucking Scar Sneak's awesome. I love him. Anyways, we're not talking about fantasy today. We'll do that another time because uh, there's no fucking way I'm not getting away without ranting about the goblins. At least a little cool. bit. Or the, the, night, the night goblins. I love This could be the Warhammer goblins. episode where I can contribute slightly exactly. more. Exactly. Anyways, back to 40k. Let's get back on the topic of the OG stuff. Yeah, so yeah, back with the you, Emperor. You, 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 yeah, you got one white. Jimmy one space. of the, one of the yeah, chapters. Back with yeah, Mr. Emperor Jimmy Space Mankind. That's his full name. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah. All right, so um, one day, um, uh, before even before J- Jimmy, uh, Emperor Jimmy Space Mankind uh, existed, um, there were a bunch of these fucking weird sorcerer people, um, and they were like, "Yo, dude, the world's kind of going to shit. We need someone to save the universe, man. Uh, save mankind." Um, uh, so they all fucking channeled their energies together, and then all their fucking shit kind of merged into one being. At least that's what I remember hearing about it once. Like the yeah, the actual was, origins of the emperor. There's a bunch of ancient shamans. Ah, 
basically gave up their you ever seen like you ever seen that one weird season of a uh, of vampire diaries that's a really specific reference but i'll say sure <laughs> I'm going to say sure, just so you can keep going with this. No. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> no, but basically that happened, and then he just did a bunch of tomfoolery while humanity was progressing. It's speculated that he was Alexander the Great. So, so the Emperor cool. is Alexander the Great. Hypothetically. Alright, so from what I've heard, all I know is that he's just a big fucking rotting meat sack in a chair just kind no, of he didn't, he didn't use to yes it, but yeah <laughs> down with yeah, the yeah, corpse yeah. Emperor. anyways we'll get into that later <laughs> um yeah so uh before he became the corpse emperor he was the emperor emperor and it was a bunch of shamans they they were like they did they were like they, they did they did a bunch of shamaning he wasn't, he wasn't the emperor at this point he was just exactly he, he, he was just the guy <laughs> um and they all fucking use their shaman powers and kind of sacrifice their lives to fuse to do like the fusion technique, per, like Potara wearing star uh, style. Oh, um, it was uh, like the a Megazord of a man. Ex- pretty much, yes. and it, it came out as like it, it, like a nine, ten foot tall guy, um, who's like literally just God. Oh, they made Shrek. Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. They made Shaquille O'Neal. Um, uh, um, any of the way. Also known as Jimmy time. Space. Yep. Exactly. So then we have Jimmy Space, um, and so um, uh, Mister Emperor Mankind, um, uh, surnamed Jimmy Space, um, he, he exists for a bit. You know, lets hum- humanity go on, and then eventually humanity gets to the point where they start needing to go spacefaring and stuff. And so he helps them because he's like super smart, super intelligent, super everything. Yeah, wasn't he just like a scientist during the? Uh... Is it, is it still considered the dark age of technology? Uh, I I think that's not the, considered the dark age of technology because the dark age is when everything you when all the all of humanity starts going through shit and starts forgetting how to use it and lose the access to shit and stuff. No, that's age of strife. Uh, yeah, thank you. Exactly. Um, yeah, so eventually they get to the point where they can become like a, a dominant space faring country, uh, in that country. Yeah. Uh, th- I'm trying my best to remember exactly how some of this goes because it's a little gappy. So I might just skip ahead a little bit. Um, to eventually, I um, mean, you know, he starts making some people and he starts fighting some stuff, some species and creatures. Did you say making um, uh, people? Uh, uh, yeah, he's the Thunder yeah, Warriors. So, the, yeah, the, Thunder. yeah, the the what? Alpha, the Alpha Test Space Marines. So, um, so plot, so streamline. Bunch mm-hmm. of sh- evil shit happened. Earth at this point was like relying on other planets bringing shit in. So. Bunch of stuff blocked that coming in, so techno barbarians, and then he started in the Himalayas. And Earth took it over. Mm-hmm. Pretty much. So, yeah. so I assume this this thing that blocked was kind of is that the warp, or do we get yeah. to that a different? Well, warp oh. storms. Yeah, uh, it, yeah. I'll give you. I'll give you. You two guesses to uh to find the correlation as to why the warp storms happened. Is it because of the emperor is getting old? Nope. No, he doesn't one do that. Guess. Is it Tyranids? One, one, one more. Nope. Tyranids mm. are literally the most recent alien race. Oh, demons. Yep. No, actually, it was the Eldar murder fucking. Yeah. We... The, they sexed the space so elves. Hard. Yes, the, yes, the space elves. They, they sexed so hard they made Slanesh. What? Oh. Yeah. Oh, that so was happening that, yeah. during this time. Yes, yeah, we, we um, don't. We don't have. We don't have time to. We don't have time for this. Yeah, we don't. Have time I think for this we've bit. established this is going to be a fat episode. <laughs> it it is going to be a bit of a fat episode, which is why I'm trying to ad lib it a little bit. But yeah. So either way, so after a while, the bad shit starts happening. Um. So he's like, I need people to fight the bad shit. So he makes the Thunder Warriors, which are like super early Space Marine kind of types. That's a hardcore he, name. Th- Thunder Warriors Thunder- were literally just people. Or not people. Yeah, no. Weren't they just Gods. literally just people barely like genetically altered? Yeah, pretty much. But they had really cool armor and shit, so they were pretty They're tough. Like, no, they were genetically altered enough to give them like super cancer. What? Yeah, pretty much. Wait, yeah. wait, 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 wait. <laughs> no. We don't have time to wait. Yeah, what? we don't have time. We'll, we'll, we'll get to cancer. it later. Well, you'll get to it later. Read blah, it up blah, on blah. your own, bitch. Blah, blah, blah. He takes over the planet. He makes the custodies because he wants some nice oiled boys around him at all times. And then mm-hmm. 
he makes the space re- space marines and kills all the thunder warriors because fuck them. Yeah, by by space cancer because because he doesn't want because they're liabilities now. Oh, aren't the custodians like basically like the royal guard? Uh, the yeah. custodians are the coolest thing and the only good thing about the fucking Imperium. And the Katachan. The Katachan and the pretty fucking If cool. there are any, if there is a good faction, it is the Custodies. It is the Custodies. I love the Custodies. Um, uh, I have an army, a 2,000 point army of Custodies. I was getting oh. there. The so, very- that's, so that's like what, five models? Uh, I, I, no, it's more like 20. Uh, it's like... <laughs> yeah, aren't Custodies like, really, like the most expensive like Space Marine adjacent units? Yes. Yes. Um, uh, w- w- one Custodies... Uh, the, the average Space Marine... Um, Tabletop wise, is usually price anywhere between five to ten points. Um, is if, you, it, if, you wait, wait, a, if you keep a space marine bare bones, it's probably like like seven eight points. A custodies is about fifty six. Um, yeah, like a whole kill squad <laughs> game would just be like two custodies, right? You get two custodies. You have no customization. <laughs> you get oh, two, two custodies with spears. That is all. Awesome. What what defines it like? In a game sense, yeah. why are they good? Why are they so good? Do they why have big health? Toughness? Uh, what are we talking about? Like custodies? Yeah. yeah. Uh, custodies, because they are a space marine. Space marine. Um. Uh. They. They are. They have like. Uh, they have four wounds, which is a lot. Because space uh, space marines usually only have one or two. They, uh, they have two now because of the recent code. Yeah. 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 Because. Yeah, 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 primaries and shit uh, i have uh, realized they, they the, they have, the can of worms i have opened up with now talking about the game yes exactly, which is why i'm going to keep this really short too again uh they have four wounds two up save wounds is just the health right um yes uh four up invul which is basically just a four up perma save no matter what because there are some things that can carve through your armor uh but that but if you build just custodies and sisters of silence you will get a three up save uh because custodies are cool um, and no, then all the sisters of silence are. Yeah, we'll get. Fuck you. You don't even get to know. We'll get, we'll tell you later. <laughs> um, uh, I assume they're mute. Kind yes. of, actually. Yeah. The, Wait, if, what? You're, if you're a psycho, your brain hurts around them. Oh. They're, 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 they, literally, they're, they literally don't have a soul. They don't. Yeah. They don't need it. They all kind they of look like bad bitches, though. So it's we're okay with this. Are they the space marine equivalent of that one high school kid that just walked around with a speaker? Well, they're not space marines. They're just they're no. women. They're, uh, they're 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 women. They're, they're the female, female just women. The female they're, they're, equivalent. Exactly. They're the brodats of the fucking uh, bros of the custodies. Um, uh, yes. Where were we? <laughs> anyways, sorry. Yeah. Um, and then they also have two up skill and ballistic skill. They're really good. Um, you you get your points worth with them. Um, anyways. Um, so they yeah. Emperor makes custodies. Um, uh, makes space marines, kills thunder warriors with space cancer. Um, and he's like, "Hey, cool, I got space marines now. I need people to lead them." Um, so eventually he make makes son. He's like, "I will make children," and makes the primarchs. Who is and the then, woman? Uh, n- there is no, no woman. What? Wait. They're 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 like the closest things you get to clones, but he actively like, he took like it's like it's like oh maybe he like, like made yeah he made humans. yeah he 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 made sixteen custom babies where he took like part of his genetic structure and basically like just fucked around with it to add extra shit and like all like because like all of them are psychers, all of them are super powerful, all of them are really big like like I think this the shortest one was. Like at least like seven ish feet, like around the Should, size of an old space marine. Holy yeah, shortest shit. ones are Alpharius and Omega. Yes, they're the shortest ones because they could blend in with the rest of the um uh, with their boys. Um, uh, and then the tallest I think was as big as the Emperor, maybe a bit bigger. With Magnus, that was Magnus. Is Magnus, was Magnus the Salamanders? The yeah, Magnus is the, he no. was the biggest. No, Magnus, Magnus was the is biggest. A... Or are we going to get to the names of each of the Primarchs when we describe a... the chapters? Uh, um, he, he, he's the one for the Thousand Sons. Yeah. Yeah, I Fem mean, he, he, he was the biggest. He was the biggest. Um, yeah, he's them. the one for the Femboys. Exactly. Wait, what? No, no that's Fulgur. Uh, uh, Ful- no, 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 no. I'll, I'll exp- I'll <laughs> Do you want me to explain this joke now or later? later uh we're still trying to get okay. through the fucking primarchs 
Um, yeah, either way. So he, he makes 16 babies. Uh, we don't know about two of them. Two of them are meant to be for custom <gasps> shit. Well, it used to be, but now they're just meh. Now they're just bleh. They don't exist. Um, so, yep. so pretty much there's 14. Um, uh, 16. Uh, 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 shut up. <laughs> Wait. Shut up, man. Anyways, um, <laughs> but yeah, show. Um, from then, um, uh, he's he's making these babies. He's like, yes, my children. I'm going to raise you all well and perfect. And then, around this time, the chaos gods are kind of catching on to what um uh, the emperor was doing. Oh, they're they're are, like, these are the ones that I know the most about. Yeah, the chaos gods are the cool ones. They're the, they're the ones you should give a shit about. And that um, um the reason why the Imperium is stupid stupid baby poo poo garbage. Uh, because these guys are cool, not stupid baby poo poo garbage. Anyways, they need to wear armor. Yeah, so either all of them are like, "Yo, what the fuck's going on over with this th- th- this man? Why is he not suffering and dying in torment, or um, uh, or rotting into a thousand piles?" Um, and they couldn't kill him because he was actually kind of strong. Um, so they're like, "Yo, what if we just steal all of his children?" What? And like, oh, all is that like- how? Yes, I like his, that idea. Let, yeah, let's his children just all kind of got children. teleported all across the uh, all across yeah. the universe. Scene, uh, scene universe like. Galaxy. Sinj um, basically snuck up behind fucking um, uh, the Emperor when he wasn't looking. It was like, yeet to fucking all of his children. Kazane, Kazane, I am sending your children off this mortal plane. Oh my god, his children got Sonic Sonic undergrounded. Yeah, pretty much. Um, He basically opened up portals and shot every single one of them like out to like 14 different fucking spots in the universe. 16, 18 yeah. actually at this point. What? Is there actually 18? What? Well, it's eighteen because the because the two unnamed Primarchs actually grow up. They just get they just get fucking removed from everyone's memory. Uh, oh, they are uh, ah, so the worshippers of Malal. I like that. So uh, there's, six, there's sixteen Primarchs, but there's two more that 18. were just there are eighteen, <laughs> but only sixteen matter. But yes. apparently, that also goes to fourteen. Oh wait, hold on. Or is it 20? Because I feel like 20 is... Oh, a- shit. Bro, okay, now now you're confusing me. How many fucking Primarchs are there? Oh, he searched. <laughs> 20. There's, fuck, there's 20! There's 20? Jesus Christ. Then, the, then who are all the other ones? Uh, okay. Lionel Johnson, number one. Uh-huh. Uh, number two, unknown. <laughs> number Check. three, Fulgrim. Four, Perturabo, Dragon Khan, Lee Rust, Rogel Dorn, Conrad Kurz, Sanguinius, Ferris Manus, Unknown, Angron, Girly Man, M- Mortarian, Magnus the Red, Horus, Lorbear, Fol- Vulcan, Korax, and Alpharius Omegon. So technically 21, because of Alpharius Omegon. Yeah, but they're like the same creature anyways. They're like the exact same thing. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's like... So don't don't be picky. Uh, don't um, yeah. Either way, so, yeah. So uh, each of his each of his children get yeeted, and, and then he he he's like no. Anyways, um, and he starts looking for his children because this guy's oh, actually like a really oh, shit wait, dad. On. Evan, did you, yes? do you know? Do I know what? Have you did did you do have you heard about the Alpharius book? Um, I know a little bit about it. I don't, I don't know much about it, but I supposedly know he was he was he he actually got yeeted to a part place on Earth, so he was the first one found. Who was um Alpharius? Mm-hmm. Oh my god! Oh, okay, Alpharius. Supposedly, cool. what? But but I, I you, think it was that, 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 to, to be to be honest. What I'm telling you is extremely paraphrased from like all of my. Internet sources of five minutes watching it. Uh huh. Yeah. I know what you mean. I actually never knew that. Uh, I, then again, it, can you really trust if it came out of Alpharius El- El- or Omegon's mouth? Um, no, you can't. Exactly. Yeah. You, you you can both trust it and not trust it at the same time. It, it is it is Schrodinger's word. Yeah. Either way. So yeah. Emperor goes around, finds his children. Uh, eventually, he does. Um, all of which are now flavorful and themed by personalities that he was not expecting them to have. Some, some of them, them good, more than other. Yeah, some of them were very good. Like a couple of them, like um, uh, Lionel was in a decent condition. Um, Lionel, girly man. 
Yep. Um, and then you have, and then you have fuckers like Conrad Kurz and Angron. <laughs> and more and Mortarion. Oh, isn't Agron like one of one. the demon boys? Uh, uh, yes. He would become that, but at the he moment, would. he's just a regular boy who with really big anger issues. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> the the oh. funniest the funniest part about Angron is that um uh, is that uh, um every every Primarch has a psychic power that like like even if they don't focus on it they all have a kind of like a psychic like passive ability almost that lets them do oh. stuff like like Magnus is like the strongest of this of them from like psychic wise um then what's it called um uh Lorger um his psychic abilities kind of get people to listen to him he's very good at persuasion. Um, uh, I believe, I believe, um, uh, Gulliman's one makes it so he, like, it gives him kind of like an air of confidence around him. So like, everyone was like, wow, shit. Yeah. This guy knows what he's talking about. Uh, um, hold on. Let, let, let's let him guess. What do you, what do you want to guess that Angron's was? Yes. Oh, uh, was it, was it like the stand survivor of just making others angry passively? No, it was compassion. No. Yeah. Wait, wait, what did you say? He he was he he gave his original plans was to have it so what's it called, um uh, that Angron would be the one that would help bring everyone together through, like through a very peaceful personality, and Excuse would me? calm everyone's nerves. Which he did <clears throat> before they put the nails in. That's true. He used to what? do a very good job at that. So have you ever, you have you ever seen pictures of him? Uh, Angron. Yes. Yeah. I've only seen him with the demon and stuff. Well, okay, uh, the demon stuff kind of worked too. His, it's still there. On his head, have you, did, you, did you see like those like tubes coming out? And the yes. wires. Oh. Those yeah. are those are called the butcher's nails. Basically, it 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 amplifies your rage, and you feel pain unless you're at in battle. Or you're killing something. Oh. Yeah. In fact. So we just kind of... Yeah. I thought and that was like a weird, like, comeback design. Nope. No, 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 no. Those are wires going straight into his head. Um, uh, it, it, it could... It ranges from... There's between, like, a light migraine to, like, my head's going to explode. If I don't stab someone right now. Yeah, he was, he was only <laughs> turned into a demon Primark. Because if he didn't, he was literally going to die of a fucking aneurysm. <laughs> Exactly. Like, like it was about to get so bad to the point where what's it called? He was going to combust. <laughs> I didn't like. Okay, so we've gotten. Where are we now in the topics? Because you, uh, we've explained. We're, we're literally just ping ponging. Yeah, we're ping ponging a little bit, but like, um, the core is he finds his sons. The, his sons are all kind of fucky wuckied up, or not fucky wuckied up. Um, because they all like, grew he up. Them, he, he gives them control of a space brain legion. Yep. He Don't they also give them the speed. armor too? Yeah, well, well I usually a lot of them. Armor's been given. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, no, no yeah. they're going full nude in the battle. They, they, honestly, a primer could probably go full nude into a battle to, and still just win. To be honest, but... I cannot imagine a space marine outside of the armor. Oh, like, it's a big buff guy with what they look it. like. It, it, it's just, just a, a big buff guy, guy with like a, a bunch of like guy with no neck. And, and, and like implant things and like and yeah. like virtually no penis and balls us uh, whatsoever. Like they, they they look purely decorative, but not in the no good dick. way. Oh, I see. No balls. Yes. And probably no yeah. butthole because this guy just feeds on radiation. Probably. Like, hmm. So, do you guys want to tell me about all 20, 16, 14, 18? A number of the Primarchs. <laughs> Uh, we we get we, 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 let, let's let's ad lib a little bit of their fucking yeah, ad lib a bit like 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 see if we can describe them all in one sentence because because this is still an entertainment podcast <laughs> exactly that's what I mean yeah. all right so yeah yeah we're not supposed to be teaching people here ew yeah. all right I'm the I'm the one that's supposed to be confused all right all right now, now right. Dan do you still have that list of fucking primarchs ri- listed I think up I do I do. All right, so we- Pull back up. N- slowly name them off, and I'll describe each one. Lionel Johnson. Um, sneaky secret guy that also really likes lions. You wait, mean Knights so in For Honor? That too. Wait, 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 wait there's wait, just wait, a dude wait. whose name is Lionel Johnson. Wait, wait, wait. Did yeah. you say sneaky guy? 
Yeah, aren't all, aren't all the Dark Angels really sneaky? No, that's a uh, Blood Ra- or not Blood. That's a uh, fucking 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 Dark Raven Angels. Guard. Sorry, that was the Dark Angels. Dark Angels are always lying about shit. Oh, this was the, we're talk we're talking about Primarchs. Oh, this Primarchs. Was the this was during the heresy. Oh shit! You're right. Never mind. Okay, sorry about that. All right. See, so, yeah, never oh, mind. That's not the Holy Heresy, right? Yeah. yeah basically, we, we have Holy Night guy yeah. that really likes lions, and um, uh, and it ha- and his sons are very sneaky sometimes. Oh, I see. Yeah. Next yeah. up, Fulgrim. Fulgrim, Ho- um, a uh, horny oh. warrior who's really sexy. <laughs> He's also my favorite. Um, uh, yeah. and, um who, does, uh, who does he command? He commands Emperor's, Emperor's children. children. Yeah, he he also really likes drugs. Drugs are cool. Who doesn't like drugs? The I Emperor's go. children. Yes. yes. We'll get to like them later. Space Marine. That's, no, that's my favorite. Shut up. We'll go later. Okay. Anyways, next. Perturabo. Portur um a Perturabo, um fucking depressed. um. What what'd you say? Depressed. He, very depressed. Um, but <laughs> he's he, depressed. He 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 he's like the better but less cool fucking um uh, Rogaldorn. Um, to everybody, even though I think Perdurabo's cooler. Um, uh, he, he really likes Lego. He oh. likes Lego more than fucking, um, uh, Rogaldorn, but <laughs> everyone likes Rogaldorn's Lego builds better. I'm just gonna, yeah, yeah sure. Alright. Khan. Jagatai Khan, um, Mon- Mongolian biker gang boy, um, uh, who... Was oh, he Space Wolves? Who really likes no. David Bowie, because it's white oh, and lightning. White scars. That's the White Scars. The White Scar, yeah. yep. Next. Next. <laughs> Lehman Russ. Lehman Russ. You're a furry. Uh, furry. Oh, the Space Wolves. The uh, furry Viking. Oh, oh, there we go. I'll give it that furry Viking man who's actually kind of cool. But like, I don't oh. like the Space Wolves. I like, I like what's it called, Lehman Russ though. He also has a tank named after him, but that's cool too. Yeah, that's the one reason why I know. Rogel Dorn, uh, the cooler Lego master builder. Um, uh, then <laughs> Perdrow with a stick up his ass. He's like an actual loser. Um, he's part of the Imperial Fist because that's the only way he can get hard if people are fisting him. Because he's that oh, much, he's, he's got that much of a stick up his ass. It's, he's also he, he's also a loser, and all of them look like bananas. The only good thing about them is that in meme wise and lo- in meme lore, uh, the angry Marines come from them eventually. I think. Also, they have big fuck off space fort. That's pretty cool too. Yeah, they got a really they they got the biggest. They got a th- the ship called the Phalanx, which is the biggest. Structure okay. in the Kurs. galaxy. Conrad Kurz, Batman, but e- evil. He's also really angry, and he's also kind. He, he kind of looks like Marilyn Manson. Like picture Mar- Mar- Marilyn Manson in, in a blue fucking Space Marine suit with um uh with lightning bolts all over it, and um a pair of fucking claws. Huh. Sanguinius. Sanguinius. <laughs> um, the Emperor's favorite. A uh, big old angel man, uh, but he's a big old poo poo loser because he fucking dies. Oh, that's the blood horny boy, right? Yeah. Yes. Um, well, no, he isn't blood horny. Everyone, all of his blood angels are horny. Oh, yeah, everyone's horny for so, him. Uh, supposedly, he was actually. Oh, was he actually blood horny? So what you're, so what you're saying so. is hypo- so what you're saying hypothetically, he could have been part of the fucking um uh, he could <laughs> he could have fallen into the black rage. That would have been cool. No, no, black rage is because he died. Oh shit! You're right. So, but, but he. Could have fallen the Fer- Hemo man. Ferris Manus. Um, he dipped his hands in metal. Um, uh, he's what? And and pe- and his and his sons took his fucking last words way out of context. What were his <laughs> last words? Way um, uh, well, not his last words, but like his motto was what's it called? The flesh is weak. Um, uh, be, um, but that they they only took that part. They forgot to read the second part. Um, uh, do we know what the second part the, is? The, yes. the mechanis, the, the me- mechanis version of Space Marines. Oh, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I love what? Ferris Manus. Translates to Iron Hand, leader of the Iron Hands. Yeah, no, exactly. It, it, it's like it's like he was born to do this. Um, he uh, he also he also got his metal hands because he killed a, a metal snake and dipped his hands in his metal blood. Oh, of course. Yeah. Uh, uh, Angron, which we already talked about. Anger, and we already talked to you. Angie. Yeah, that's angry. Very man. angry man. Incredibly angry man. Likes what red. About girly man. Boring, but in the good way. Um, uh, he 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 he's like if Caesar wasn't stabbed eighty times, 
and actually built a really good society instead of kind yeah, of yeah. John Space Marine we're talking about now, right? Yeah, no, he, he is. He is no. This isn't John uh, Jonathan Space Marine. Jonathan Space Marine is um uh, Marnius Calgar, his his best friend. Um, uh, oh, are we, are we gonna get the? Is he also a Primarch? <laughs> Uh, we'll, we'll we'll talk to him later. Uh, no, he's just a fuck. He's um uh, the primary because the left hand man. Either way, there's not much to talk about fucking Gulliman because he's like he's he's very simple. He's he's literally just the space marine, space marine. He's just big space. He's marine. boring. If you've heard of Warhammer 40k, you've heard of him. Exactly, oh. but but he, he himself is an awesome character. Anyways, Mortarion was next. Oh, yeah. Uh, yes. Mortarion, hardcore Grim Reaper, green uh, fungus boy. Did you get that? I think I did. All right, yeah, he he, <laughs> he wants yeah, to split he, the disease. Yeah, he's uh, he was uh, he was disease immune until the heart the there a disease called the destroyer hive came in and started killing all of his guys to near death. Fuck what? Typhus. Wait, wait, killing them to near death? Yeah, well, because all of the um uh, all of him and um uh, the rest of the guys since since Mortarian grew up on a planet that was like incredibly toxic to anything. Like literally every like the oxygen that you breathe would like could like like a like a like a little bit could burn an entire planet to the ground for like a breath oh, of air. Um, uh, he breathed that shit for years. Um, and so because of it, um, his body became incredibly what's it called immune to um uh, diseases and shit. Um, however, unfortunately, because of that, um, it kind of backfired when um uh, one of on 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 his way to help out the bad guys. Um. Uh, he what's it called? Um, uh, they caught the the super stinky disease, uh, the destroyer hive. But the problem is they weren't dying from it. So they were just writhing in agony as they f- as their flesh fell off their face. But they oh. didn't die from it and regrew too yeah. fast. Yeah, they were caught their face flesh. It was like they were living the worst part of the disease for for days and months, and they, none of them died from it. Oh, yeah, not good time. Anyways, yeah. So eventually, he just turned to Nurgle, and everyone went super mutated. But they don't hurt anymore, so it's okay. Oh, he's a Nurgle boy. Yeah. Next, Magnus. Magnus, um, he big tall psyker boy got red skin. Really likes horns. Um, uh, joined Sinch because um, uh, his dad told him to not use this thing that he built perfectly for him, and when he used it once, uh, he joined Sinch because Lehman Russ got sent to kill him. By Horus, but at first mm-hmm. he was only sent to go say hi. By the yeah, Emperor. exactly. Like, 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 Lehman Russ was like, uh, the Emperor was like, "Yo, Lehman, uh, go, ch- go check on fucking uh, Magnus for me." He's, he's, he, he did a whoopsie bad bad. And then, as soon as that message ended, Horus just went, "Kill." <laughs> yeah, kill. <laughs> hmm. And Lehman run. Oh, look. <laughs> All right, Horus. Horus? Um, uh, didn't we just the say Horus? Boy. He's the no, one that did the heresy. Oh, no, right? Hor- Horus. Horus was supposed to be the perfect boy. But so, then... So he, he was the perfect boy, and That's then true. fuck Erebus. Yeah, and then Erebus and Lorger came in. We're like, yo, guy, yo, dude, I got an idea. Have you ever tried religion? <laughs> well... <laughs> it did not go well. <laughs> There's a reason they call it the Horus heresy and not the Erebus heresy. <laughs> <laughs> the Erebus heresy. No, it was called the Horus heresy. That was a joke. I, There's I, will, thing rant, as the I will rant about Erebus after the podcast. Oh. Yes, we'll get to that later. We'll tell you. Yeah, uh, Lorger. Yeah. Lorger, um, uh, the, the weird preacher guy. Um, uh, my friend's favorite. Um, he's a really big. Um, uh, he's very, 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 very religious, and he was the first person to see. Um, uh, the, like think of the Emperor as a god, and yeah, it's kind of man. funny that his. The Lorger's books are still... Yeah. <laughs> made a planet to worship him, got backhanded. Yeah, Amber was like, stop! And fucking burned it to the ground. Um, And then he was like, I'm gonna do it again. And then he wrote a book about it. And now it's like the he, biggest book in the Imperium. It's kind of funny, because Lorger is working for chaos. And then the Emperor said, I am not a god. Now kneel, and forced everyone to kneel. Like, like he was a god. Mm-hmm. But don't call yeah, me a god. Some- that's Next fucked up. Vulcan. Next is Vulcan. Next is Vulcan, also known Vulcan. as Eldar Child Destroyer. Yeah, that's true. He, he does, um, yeah, um, he he straight up killed an Eldar Child because so he, he he grew up on a or he was he got dropped off on a world that was plagued by dark Eldar raids, 
So he grew up with a hatred for Eldar. Mm-hmm. Aren't all of them racist though? Uh, yeah, but funny enough, more Vulcan's, racist. Vulcan's usually not that racist. It's like, but when what? it comes to Eldar, he's racist. To, he's racist to aliens, but he's like, he's like one of the only like people he, in the Imperium that actually like a, civilians. If you're a human or human adjacent, him and the salamanders are cinnamon rolls. Well, yeah, I heard you the salamanders are like the nicest. He will burn you in unholy smithy fire. <laughs> Isn't their whole planet like just completely dark? That's why oh, they can no, like... incredibly irradiated. Oh, yeah. everything's on fire. So yeah, they're like, we can work with this. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, bro, you're right. I like this. Well, am I wrong? It's that's what happens. It's like everything's burning and on fire, but we can work with this. Let's use this hot, hot metal to make tools. Yeah. Let's yeah. Fire yeah. God damn! God damn! Was he good at making tools? Yes, he was. Picture the iron. Remember the scene in Iron Man One where fucking Tony is making the fucking Iron Man suit. Like, uh, instead, it's a giant flamethrower. It's like that, but like he's making everything. Supposedly, he, he made armor. an entire ship. Yeah. Well, we don't know if it was with help or by himself. Yeah, we'll get to that later. Um, uh, probably not oh, actually. Okay. <laughs> Good shit. Next. Uh, Corvus Corax. Raven Guard. All right, Raven Guard. Sorry. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was the one guy in my brain was like. <gasps> I, I was like, didn't we cover him already? Edgy. Bro? <laughs> Edgy. I think it doesn't. His name literally just mean Crow Crow. Yes. Yes, it does. No, it, no, it means crow because because the name of the scientific name for a crow is Corvus Corax. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wait, so his name is just Crow. Just crow. Pretty much. You fucking Raven. serious? Raven. He's Crow. Raven, Raven. leader oh, yeah, of the Raven Guard. <laughs> exactly. No, it's Raven. Yeah, sorry, the, the subject. Crow is just Corvus, and then Corvus Corax is a Raven. Um. Uh, anyways, um, it's how many more primarchs do we have? Cool. Uh, uh, technically two, but one, Alpharius Omegon. Yes, um, Alpharius Omegon, the, the sneakiest of boys, so much so that no one even knew that there there was twins. What? <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. Alpharius and Omegon, no one knows that, that, that they're, they're separate beings, except for Alpharius and Omegon and the Alpha Legion. But they don't tell anybody. Um, they don't tell anybody anything. What? Um, uh, no, yeah, so imagine, yeah, you say it, and imagine the fucking surprise. When um, because Alpharius dies, he gets he gets decapitated by someone, and um, uh, the guy's like, "Oh, sick! I I I slayed oh, my he, brother. It's a shame." He, he got killed by Rogel Dorn, and then Rogel right. Dorn ripped off the mask and <gasps> fuck, it's Omega. <laughs> yeah. Wait, so it, it's just a fucking Zack and Cody prank as Primarchs, basically. Yeah, what pretty the much. Fuck? Yeah, exactly. No, and they're also the smallest, so they can blend in with the rest of the Alpha Legion. So, like in 30k, because uh, there's a 30k where you can play with all the 30k. Yeah, it's 30k during the Horus Heresy. Um, uh, they have a um, Alpharius and Omega have a rule where instead of putting them on the field, you can have them start in a random unit of um, uh, Alpha Legioners. Oh, that's, that sounds <laughs> kind of cool. For, and you only find out that they're in there if you charge the unit. <laughs> So if you charge the That's unit, you'll cool. like, like you'll charge it with like fucking like anger on a rogue door and be like, oh, sick, I'm gonna beat the fuck out of this unit of guys. And then, hi, hello, welcome, welcome to Alpharius. <laughs> I really like that. I like. That. And I think, and I think, he, and then I believe they also have a rule where you can run two of them because Alpharius and Omega. <laughs> so you can yes. just you can basically just spike two units with a really fuck off powerful guy. Now will he beat? Any other Primarch in a one-on-one fight? No. But, but it's the Alpha one-on-one. Legion. They're known for tricks and goofs that make it really fucking hard to fight them. Plus, to mention, the only thing worse than fighting them is fighting, uh, fighting a guy, big, tough, shithouse Primarch when you're not expecting to fight a big, tough, shithouse Primarch. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yes. They sound fun. They are pretty neat. Either way. Uh, so, yeah, that's them. Uh, was there anything else, or is no? Is that it? The Blast one? Uh, that, that, that's everyone. All right, that's it. Sick. All right, so yeah. So, that was all of them. That was Adlib's kind of adding stuff as well. Um, and they're all working together for a little bit. Until one day, um, uh, until one day, um, Erebus and Lorger get talking. And they introduce Horus to a little thing called the Chaos Gods. Uh, actually, oh. actually. Oh, oh Dan's about to tell mm-hmm. his own lore. In- 
Yeah, uh, he got he got stabbed by a certain chaosy blade. Oh. Okay. And he was dying, and Erebus went, "Bro, I know this sick trick to uh to to heal you." And he went, "All right, bro, die. put put it on me." And basically, Later. he whispered sweet chaos nothings into his ear that gave him a vision of what was going to happen with the Emperor. Yeah, that's true. Ma- made by Sinch, of course. So you can never know if it's actually real or not. Yeah. And that just started the whole... And, like, he got, like, half the brothers on his side, right? Yes, he did. Uh, he, he, yeah, he woke up one day. if the Emperor was a better dad, this wouldn't have happened. Like, most of it wouldn't have happened. Oh, yeah, and yeah, then, exactly. like, like, the like, horse heresy is the reason, like, they pretty much mauled the Emperor into being in the chair permanently. Oh, yeah, pretty much. Um, uh, To sum up, if he wasn't so much of a shit dad, uh, if he wasn't so much of a shit dad, he probably wouldn't have to worry about ever, uh, about most of his sons uh, disbanding him. Probably, like, two or three probably still would have. Like, yeah, I feel like so, Angron and Mortarion probably still would have. No, 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 Maybe. If- the thing with Angron is he was so pissed that he just teleported him, teleported him off the planet. And yeah, left his exactly. friends to die. When literally all the Emperor had to do was send down him and like ten custodies and whoop the planet's ass. Exactly. And then Angron would have been arguably the most loyal, I think, personally. Yeah. Like like he he would have been like, You have my warrior's respect, father. And would have knelt. Yeah, and to then him. and then uh Mortarion only hated the Emperor because he went to go kill his his adoptive father, but he couldn't do it because of the gas. The, like the air was more toxic up higher. Yeah, and his fucking toxin resistant body couldn't handle that much toxin. Yeah, so that happened, and then yeah, yeah, and, and, and then, then by the t- no, no, and then, not to mention that, but also Mortarion. By the time Mortarion was going to actually get a chance to kill his uh, kill his uh, stepfather, um. Emperor MP comes down and fucking kill steals him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, he gets kill stolen. Kill stole his dad. His father was about to kill him. Like Mortarion was about to die. Yeah, did. exactly. And then like, but, but Mortarion would have rather died by uh died trying to slay his father than having someone else kill him instead while he was still living. And then Mortarion became like the poster boy for like uh Nurgle. <laughs> Yeah, yes. for he's he's ner- he's because he can test literally any disease on him, and it'll and that way because that because the best thing about testing it on on a fucking plague marine from the um uh, death guard is that the plague marines not only are they still super fucking toxic and poisonous with the fucking diseases and shit in them, but also they're still just as disease immune as they were when the fucking shit half hit them. So you know if it works on a fucking death guard. You know that shit's pretty fucking potent. <laughs> so, the, yeah, so the, the, they're the perfect guinea pigs for trying out and making people rot to nothing. <laughs> you know, if I ever were to make a, a Warhammer army, I feel like Death a Guard demon army would also be pretty fun. Yep. No, I feel uh, yeah. like a Nurgle based one. Yeah. Yeah. The, 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 yeah. No, I feel you. Um, I'm working on a Chaos Knights army with um uh, with the Slaneshi theme. I'm gonna go buy myself a little box of Daemonettes. I'm gonna have them hanging around, out around the Ooh. base. Well, boys, uh, uh, would you mind if I transition to a, another Warhammer-based topic, since we were just talking about demons? Sure. I mean, we're uh, sure. We, we took a tangent. Why not? Did y'all want to try and explain the demons to me, or did we want to go through the rest of uh, the humanity chain and talk about, was it no. the Imperial Guard? No, because we don't... will be here all day. Yes, exactly. Oh, we're, we're focusing, we're focusing mainly on the battle? No, no we're giving you the there are too many regiments to talk about. Wait, yeah. what do you mean? Oh, There's so many. They have. It's not just. No, it's not just Cadians. What? It's no, it's fool. not just Imperial Guard. There is every single stereotype for soldiers you can think of. Oh yeah, you guys told me about like a dude based off Rambo. Yes, they they have an entire Catachan. army based off Rambo. It's called the Catachan Jungle Fighters. No, but then there was like a dude specifically called like. Yes, Sly Marbo. Sly Marbo. Sly Marbo, the most oh. powerful man in the universe. Oh, yeah, he, he's he's a one man platoon, but we're not talking about him right now, unfortunately. Well, uh, case, we're trying, we we're trying to give a nice general the synopsis. Are the demons now, or no, well, we're giving you a general synopsis of fucking war, like what you need to know to get into this fucking hobby. All right, that was the topic of tonight. We can always go back to Warhammer Part Two. Yeah, people love hearing us talk about. It's going to be more than just a part two. 
Exactly. Um, I think yeah. we should start a podcast around this. Stop. No, <laughs> don't say that name. Don't say their name. Please don't pull it. <laughs> Choir music. <laughs> Please, please censor when he said that name. <laughs> oh no, it's gonna be it's gonna be so much more funnier if it's not. <laughs> oh my God. We're doomed. This is getting this is getting um. Uh, <laughs> no, please, 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 like after he says it, make censor everything else he says for the next ten seconds <laughs> <laughs> as a punishment. That's funny. <laughs> I'll just pop out of nowhere in the middle of a conversation, or you guys. Will be, imagine if I started a conversation after that, I'd be just talking, and you just do it anyways. Oh, that'd be great. <laughs> you guys are going, oh, okay, nice. No, uh, I'll be out. See the way. Theme. After so they say forest. Oh, we're oh, doing oh. this still. Yeah, let's just quickly synops- uh, synopsize this. Yeah, after oh, Horace B is like, whoa. Um, they they fight. Um, uh, they start. They it's basically it's basically just civil war, but before it. Um, actually, probably around the same time. Maybe after it. I remember. I I remember when civil war was written, and then when uh the horse heresy shit was written. Both of them are kind of old. Um, oh, I thought it meant like canonically, like year wise, because no, 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 no. Civil war happened fucking th- thousands of yeah, years. Yeah, because I'm like, this is forty thousand right? years in the future. <laughs> Exactly. Anyways, it's a, bit, it's just a bit far. <laughs> no, I mean, like, like actually in real world time. Anyways, yeah, I so think I, Civil War happened before, just because Secret Wars was old as shit. Probably that's true. It probably did lore wise. Um, regardless, um, you have a point where you have these guys going around. But yeah, and, uh, Horus undergoes the task of I can beat my dad. Yeah, I can. I of I will slay my dad. He almost did it. He almost did. You pretty much he, incapacitated he him. Exactly. If, if only Sanguinius wasn't such a fucking pussy. What did Sanguinius do? Uh, Sanguinius, died. he did die, but he also chipped a hole into fucking Horus' armor. Horus oh, Sanguinius, one of uh, the Emperor's boys. Yeah, wing yeah. boy. Oh, I forgot to mention he's an angel, by the way. He's got he's he's got actual he fucking wings. He literally has angel wings. Like oh. He abs- actually has giant fucking angel wings. That's why he flies and shit. He actually looks kind of cool. As much as I goof around with him, his model looks dope. Um, but yeah, either way. So he, he puts a it, hole in, in Horus. Yeah, he, he puts a, a small dent in the Horus, but that dent is just big enough for Emperor to shove his giant fucking flame sword into it and he slam. Mm. However. Horus is like, I'm not dying like this, and fucking shanks the shit out of the Emperor as well. Uh, crippling the Emperor and putting him in the chair. Um, uh, and then everyone yeah. else is like... Yeah, I, I mean, it's kind of like... It, I'm not dying like this, and then got his fucking soul obliterated. Yeah, pretty much. No, yeah, like, like Horus's soul was like, destroyed. Like, normally, like, if a demon is killed, they'll, they'll like, they'll come back later yeah, on. Yeah, they, like, respawn. No. Yeah, no. Horus not cannot Hor- respawn. No, so you Hor- can't play as like Horus in the tabletop. Well, you yeah, can't play as any primarchs. Actually, you can play as a couple of the primarchs now. Well, you can play as Agron. No, he doesn't have a he doesn't have a forty k model. He has a thirty k model. It, uh, All the uh, primarchs have thirty k model models. But like, oh, you can't play as Martarion. No, you can play Martarion is one of the few ones that do have a model. Um, oh. uh, I'll show you what it looks like. Give me a second. I it's the one with wings, right? Uh, a bunch of them. I realized how little that narrows it down. Yeah, that, you know, it's, it's the Gundam with the sword. It's the, <laughs> it's the Gundam with the V-Fin. Exactly, yeah, exactly, that one. Yeah. Uh, Mortarion 40? Look it up, I'm showing you. Okay, I'm not looking it up. There we go, it's in the chat. Okay, that's what his model in the chat. Up and oh, up. it does. Ha- oh, he has a weird little proboscis scythe. Yeah, well, like I said, he's the Grim Reaper. Um, is it that re- called? Is that like called like the Man Reaper or something? Or is that the type Man of Reaper? No, his his scythe is called Man Reaper. I think yeah. it, it's either that's his scythe or that's um Typhus's scythe. But I'm pretty oh, sure. Oh no, Man, man, Reaper. man Reaper's kind of a weak name. What the fuck do you mean? It's cool. Well, like you're only reaping men. Like, why is it called Woman Reaper? <laughs> <laughs> why is it called a They Reaper? <laughs> that's true. No, nah, but like a Man Reaper, that's hmm. We can go for something stronger. 
No, no, well, I I like the simplicity of it. I think Man Reaper is like one of the coolest sounding fucking it feels like an orc names name. ever. Man Reaper, you insulted, dude. The the, the f- fucking orc re- weapons are named the Death Ripper. Fuck off. It's, <laughs> oh, yep, never mind, never mind. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's not it's not creative enough to be the an hurty orc. stick. The hurt <laughs> stick. Yeah. Oh. Do you what, think what we'll else? have time in this podcast? Uh, no. to discuss the racism of 40k and just get to the uh, aliens later, later. i'm um, excited yeah. for the aliens the aliens will be fun there there's they're, they're some my favorite parts too i can specifically we, we can uh one race one race is my favorite yeah, yeah the necron Woo! i actually do kind of like the necrons necron the coolest anyways you um, you show back, me the back to the less cool back to the less cool um uh, imperium um yes. so yeah, after fucking obliterating like after uninstalling um uh, horus um uh, from existence um you then proceed to have our good friend um uh, sanguinius also a corpse but not obliterated his soul is, you know just goes somewhere else fucks off um you then have the emperor slowly dying so they're like oh shit oh shit oh shit oh fuck oh shit so they chuck his ass onto a chair that basically just kind of puts him into a a state of like stasis Ooh. and um uh yeah oh uh yeah. And, 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 and they leave him there I heard like and, and, one, then, well, two things. Three is now. Yes. Uh, one, is it like they have to feed like a hundred souls to him every day? A thousand psycho souls every day, and you mm. want to know how they found that out? How did they best, find that? Out? His best friend gave him his soul. Huh. <laughs> R.I.P. Malkador. Dude. Oh, my, 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 my. Mal- Malkador was the actual best character in 40k. And isn't like if they a- if they let the emperor like die, space travel is just gone for them. Yes, it's something called the oh, astronomical. Oh, well, yeah. oh but also S- if state, if the, if, space if, travel is if gone. If the for emperor them. dies, fucking Vulcan made a bomb that will just blow up Earth. <laughs> what? Why? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, fucking uh, just Save in case. Cost. <laughs> oh, in case, like, oh, all right. This was, like, was just for I fun. Think this was well, yeah, because it because it's like because if the emperor dies, one of all three of these things had to have happened. First of all, you had to have gotten through all of ten all ten thousand custodies. There are, first, he w- they would have had to gotten into the soul system. That is true. The Milky Way is is protected. So fucking hard. No, no, not the, Cause, not the milk. No, that's just Milky the way. Got Earth. Oh, oh. Yeah, but the Milky Way is the entire setting for 40k. Oh Wait. shit! Okay, that's fair. Never mind. What am I talking yeah, about? Yeah, no, it's it's soul system, our solar system. They have yeah, to oh. get through that, which is guarded that's by cool. the biggest fleet, the yep. Imperial Fists with the mm-hmm. big links. All uh, of the custodies. Fort Moon. What? Yep. Fort the Moon? entirety of the, the Adeptus Mechanicus. Yeah, oh, the Adeptus entirety... Mechanicus just live on the moon, right? No, the Adeptus Mechanicus oh, live on Mars. Mars. Oh, it's the Mars boys. That is also within the solar system. <laughs> and they're like yeah. the the one people or like the one. I would you call them aliens? Hey, who? No. The um, they're, they're so humans. No. They're, 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 no, they're the humans. They're just they're humans, humans that are just the flesh like, is weak. Exactly. You, you, you can't. You, 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 why get flesh? We can get knowledge. Is what I'm trying to get say. Get some wires. Get some. some get some wires built in your skull so you can get some more. Not so you can hold more knowledge. Acquire some flesh. Nah. How about you acquire some bitches? Like, how about you acquire some knowledge? Bitches are no. fucking temporary. <laughs> knowledge is forever. <laughs> Knowledge to get bitches is even more. <laughs> there, 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 there probably is one adeptus, uh, adeptus mechanicus person that is just astute at fucking picking up women, but you just can't use it on any of it. <laughs> it's, That'd be because it's still knowledge. There's still knowledge to learn. Um, but yeah, either way, yeah. Th- what we're trying to say is there's a lot of shit you need to get past uh, to even get to the um, uh, sanction of Terra, and then within within Terra. You will find even more custodies. 
Wait, more who than have the not, ten thousand? Who have not? Who have not moved? No, there's, the there's emperor only 10, did. There's, there's, there's only ten thousand. There's only ten thousand. But like, wait, they're gonna. They they're gonna. Moved in how long? Uh, probably Many of them probably. have been alive since the emperor has been uh, interred on the golden throne. Yes, they're also scary because oh, ten thousand years. Yes. Yes. Uh, Ooh. Yeah, there, there are, there are a few cases of people managing to get to Terra and surviving the tale. Like very, very, very few. But there's been like one or two, and they mentioned the, the story. What'd you say? Uh, the beast is one. That's true. The the, the, beast, the beast. Beast is a big thing. I actually forget a, um, a lot of the details about the beast, but like he's basically just a he's the biggest. Orc. He's the biggest orc. He was like one of the last quarks, um, uh, and he's just the biggest. Oh, and quarks are just bigger orcs. Quarks were quarks were orcs before orcs were orcs. Ah, uh, so evolution. Yeah, pretty much. Devolution, more like it, it, like they 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 went for qual a quantity over quality. Um, uh, even though orcs are still pretty fucking durable, yeah, they're, um, they're that, that, pretty so hard. They have created between, that just shows how tough a fucking quark was, and this bitch was a fucking quark. So it took like a good couple of custodians to fucking put that thing down. Um, no, he didn't. No, he didn't. I don't oh, did think they, he did was I, on Earth. He said yes. he was able to send an orc diplomat. That is true. <laughs> you gotta love them orc diplomats. Um. Huh? Yeah, they don't really do that very much anymore. But like, they're starting to notice that there are a few orcs that are willing to like, partake in some diplomacy, showing that they're evolving. Because orcs are supposed to be the most adaptable species on the planet, as in the galaxy, aside from the fucking um. Uh, uh the the Tyranids? Yes, but we'll get yeah. that. We'll get that couple worms later. Yeah. So they, they've said that the, the so uh, out of the few people that have actually went to the surface of Terra and survived. Like like for malicious intent, um. Uh, usually they're one of like a couple thousand that try to go on there, and then they're usually like the only one that survives. Mm. Uh, and I feel like they're almost let let survive to t- tell their story to anyone that listens, and then and to live as a f- living definition of fuck around, find out. <laughs> um, because they say that some of the custodians, when you walk in, you think they're statues. Because they're not, they they don't move. They're oh, covered. They really in dust. don't move. They're covered in dust and fucking shit growing on them. Um, they they look like aged statues. Like you can see erosion on some of their armor. That's badass. Um, and then they come in before they even look. Like three, five of their friends are like already decapitated, and they look back. The statue didn't even move. They 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 thought they felt wind, but then nothing. They're like, oh shit. Then they look behind, and then like two platoons are missing, and there's also a new statue that ha- that isn't moving. <laughs> it's fucking weeping angels. Yeah, they're, they're they're like weeping angels, but solid gold and scarier. The fucking SCPs. Yeah, no, that's what I mean. And then when they finally choose to fucking move, fight, move, they move faster than some people can keep track of. In full I fucking was... plate mail. I, I didn't I, know they moved on, that I hand. swear. I swear. Hold, hold on. Keep talking while I search this up. All right. Okay. Oh, yeah. isn't there like a little between like Space Marines and the Custodians? There's like a weird. No, no. Um, you're thinking of the space between the um uh, Space Marines and the Primarchs, which is the Custodies. No, no, no. There was. There was like one where like they're psychers and they basically do scorched earth tactics. Fuck, I forgot what they're called. Like the gray something. Oh, gray knights. Uh, gray knights are just kind of like a different breed of fucking um uh, space marine. That they're 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 more elite than usual space marines, so they're a little bit more like fine, but they're still just they're just space marines. Oh, because um, from they're, they're heard, fancy. I was like, oh, gray knights can just. Oh, they can body a space marine easy. I mean, they can because they, their psychic powers are fucking. Every single unit that you have in a in a Grenades army is at least like a level one or level two psychic. Even even the fucking even the units, the unit counts as a level one psychic. 
And isn't there there? I heard a story of like a gray knight that holds like a sword that just drives them insane, but they can like hold it off. I forget which one. Yes, uh, I forget his name, but he's actually kind of a fucking. I I. I... Yeah, no, he is. A, he is a gray knight. Um, he's a Chad. Um, uh, he's. he's a, he, He's the only he's the only Grey Knight I like. Um, I'm not a big fan of the Grey Knights personally, but that's just me. I don't really know anything apparently. So, um, but I know that guy's fucking cool. Yeah, you know he, 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 he holds like he, he holds the demon blade. Um, I I I, I don't know the name of the actual weapon was, but it's it's basically just like its whole purpose is that it, it's a weapon of immense power, but it it tempts anyone that holds it into chaos and all that have held it before always give in and they always turn to like a little like a fucking daemon spawn or daemon prince or some other demonic creature monster uh, but this guy yeah what'd you find there was there's an excerpt where i think it was like 20 custodies survived a month on a planet fighting off tyranids a month yeah yeah 20 of them oh like no rest no eating no rest no, yeah, no, a straight month, and I think they still came out on top and survived. Oh yeah, it's uh, one, one of them was left. One yeah. of them was left. A oh, shame. Moment of silence for the fallen brother. Isn't it like one thing where like uh, if space if like space marines want to take on a planet, they just drop in like a squad of like five. Well, it's the numbers in forty k are s- extremely stupid. Yeah, because it's like, it's like oh yes, our. Our, our super soldiers in a world of billions, trillions even. Uh, there's a thousand per chapter, and there's only like a thousand chapters. What the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. And like, there are stories where like the Imperial Guard, like, ah, yes, they sent 250,000 to take over a whole planet. And I'm like, didn't millions die in World War II? And that was literally like less than a planet? <laughs> Yeah, it seems like that was only Europe, really. Basically, when you're thinking about numbers in the lore, add a couple zeros. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I like to imagine yeah. just any story it's I hear from Cody. 40k. Cody is yeah. are the only one you could say 10,000? Yes, that's perfectly fine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, yeah. I'd like to imagine any story I hear from about 40k is just human propaganda that they're making. Oh, oh absolutely. It's like, oh, yes, of, of course they beat them with only five people. We love the humans. Yes, the humans. Kill. Beat, boo, fuck the f- people. <laughs> Shut up, man of iron. Oh. Uh, but yeah, where were we? Uh, I don't I, know, because I, I spent I the think last it. ten minutes looking up, for, looking up that little story. Sorry, I, I think I was jizzing over fucking custodians again, because like, uh, cause we talking, I usually we don't like, I don't usually like Ethereum. Yeah, but I fucking love fuck the custodians, man. I fuck with them. You can, what are they, they're everything. the Imperial Knights? What the, are they? They're, they're also like a chapter uh, or a branch. So basically, there are these noble families of people that some of them date back all the way to the heresy days mm-hmm. and basically they just pass down the the robot between generations hmm yeah there's a there's a long line and like pretty much like when you when you cop into the robot you kind of take on the person the persona oh yeah. because e- each of the robots have their own personality quote unquote machine spirit Yes. Um. Uh, so, and when you hop in, you become their pilot. You basically, it's you, you basically become them almost, or you let them become you. Um. There are a few exceptions, like um. Uh, Canis Rex. Uh, Canis Rex is a special character amongst the Imperial Knights. Um. Uh, he's the lone remainder of his own house, and he's basically going around acting as a free blade. Um. Uh, which is basically just like a like a n- n- not quite a knight for hire, but more so like a. Yeah, knight mercenary he goes around for like honorable reasons or sometimes money reasons. And Sir Hector is just going around and just being as noble and heroic as possible until uh, with his suit, um, uh, Canis Rex, which is a really good suit. And it's a shame that as soon as he dies, um, uh, we're not sure what's going to happen to Canis Rex. Hmm. Yeah, because because so... because it, it won't it will no longer be within them, uh, Sir Hector's um, uh, bloodline. Therefore, we don't know if like the suit will actually listen to it, 
because we've never had an instance like this happen before. He's also the only pilot that's actually known as a separate character. But, but like, then again, Sir Hector and Canis Rex kind of have, like, a fucking uh, BT and um, uh, fucking Cooper um, uh, kind of vibe to them. Oh. Yeah, not much, though. It's because a Canis Rex can't really talk, but, like, sometimes, like, like Sir Hector will, like, kind of feel what he's feeling. He's like, yeah. I mean, at least that's what I think. I never read too far into the lore. But, like, that's that that's the gist of it. So basically, Imperial Knights are just thousand-year-old uh, family heirloom mechs. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Titanfall for old people. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Titanfall for old people. I like that one. Oh, shit. Uh, where do you guys want to go from here? Didn't you want to talk about daemons? I want to talk about aliens or the daemons. Uh, I would have. Uh, let's talk about the daemons because they're a bit easier to just. I feel, I feel like the Xenos would be their own I will, episode. I will. I will start us off with okay. one word descriptions for each of the demon factions. And do I okay. get to guess? No, I'm just going to say. Uh, All right, okay. Lola. Core. Angry. I Evan. I said I was gonna. Do it. Okay. <laughs> Fine. You do it then. Corn. Fight. Okay. Slanesh. Horny. Zinch, big brain, but with a hyphen, so it's technically one word. Mm. It's one concept. Nurgle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Malal. Who? <laughs> uh, one thing isn't isn't uh what is it? Slanesh's whole thing just a, like it's just a Coachella concert, basically. Yeah. No. Like, not, like not, I know I said I know I said horny. I know I said horny. But, but Slanesh they, is just anything of excess. Yeah, they do yeah. a lot of drugs. It, it, like, Slanesh it, is it, the god goddess of excess and revels. So Slanesh you, is a non-binary icon. It, if, if you take pleasure in anything, um, you do it until you can no longer drive any pleasure from it, and then you move on. Or you keep <laughs> trying to squeeze as much pleasure and enjoyment out of it as you can. Oh, did we want to... Did we want to talk about each champion of the demons? Oh, we could. Uh, let's talk about the demons first. Uh, yeah. like, I feel like it would be a bit easier. Um, yeah, so... Um, who who do you want to start with? Did you want me to start with Slanesh? Because I could talk about Slanesh fucking all day. Yeah, let's, let's they're they're my favorite. Let's go Slanesh. Slanesh, Slanesh, is... Slanesh, Slanesh is actually... Slanesh is they-them icon. Yeah, oh. they, 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 them, she, he, it. Um, uh, even boys, it's all uh, like, like Slanesh. Uh, if you're trying to figure out, like, you can usually pin like the rest of the other some uh, cast gods are he. Um, Slanesh is yes, Slanesh is a unit, yes, because because yeah. because there's been times where what's it called, like the few physical descriptions of Slanesh is that it, it is constantly shifting between um, uh, a amalgamation. Of um uh of whatever it it, it fancies currently it, it, it does it fancy a more feminine style, it gets it chooses it but then say maybe five minutes later it's fancying more of a fa- uh, masculine style, it it, it could basically go from bar to femboy within the blink of an eye. Who? Yeah. Um. Uh, and that's the gist. Um. Uh, and and it, 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 it can have it can have it can have women bits. Um. Oh, we're, we're still explaining real quick. Uh, oh, and, and basically, what's it called? Um, uh, they're also the newest of the um, uh, chaos gods um, because uh, uh, like the yeah, because because the the elder the elder fucked it into existence because like they the elder were around for so long they were just bored. Um, uh, so like they had already learned everything they need to learn and done everything they'd want to do, so they were just fucking around for a while. Didn't they and do eventually... that because they won against like another race? Um, I forget. All I know is, is that they, 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 won, they technically won against the Necrons because the Necrons said, "Fuck you! I'm gonna sleep so I can fuck up your great grandchildren." That's true. And, yeah, and, oh, and we're gonna get to the Necrons at some point. Oh, we will. I'll be. Very How long have we been recording for? That's true. Uh, let me check the recording. Probably about an hour-ish, I think. It's been longer than an hour. Has it been longer than an hour? Okay. We're go- we're coasting at an hour and a half. We started at like nine thirty-seven. All right, let's make this quick then. I'll I'll, I'll summarize 
not explained in depth. So yeah, so the uh, El- El- Eldar fuck um uh fuck experimented um uh, Slanesh to existence. Slanesh was like, "Yo, them souls looking kind of tasty, boys," and starts sucking all the souls out of the Eldar. Um, uh, they go deal with their own problems, but that's not the thing we got to worry about right now. What we're worried about now is that now, as the newest Chaos God, um uh uh Slanesh comes rolling into town, um uh, and basically just starts recruiting a bunch, uh, having a bunch of people because it's like, because uh, w- w- the reason why people will go to Slanesh. Is because all the other everything else in the Warhammer 40k universe is, is kind of shit and rough. Whereas you're just like, wow, I, I have to do I like 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 there's there's no enjoyment. There's well there, there's not a lot of enjoyment, I should say. There's a little bit. Um it is called a grim dark fantasy. Exactly. Um uh, and there's also just not a lot of fucking personal expression and shit. Like you're very much cookie cutter cardboard, um uh, go and go out, or else you'll be killed. Um whereas Slanesh promises you anything you want it is yeah it it, 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 the slanesh comes out like a little seductress um and whispers in the back of your ear it's like wouldn't it be fun to do this or maybe this sounds more enjoyable it's like i i i I can give you all of those and none of those and all of them again as if you'd never experienced them before so long as you join me that's just uber eats exactly yeah it is just uber eats (laughs) You know the pleasure you get of from ordering Uber Eats, uh, from ordering for, from our from that one place we all like to order from. Exactly. Um. Uh, that 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 is the Slanesh experience. Just overindulging yourself to the high, and then gorging yourself on whatever you want to do until the end of your days, or if you're lucky enough, forever. Um. If you get recruited to a demon prince, However, the problem that shit has a price. Because sure, you, you you can engorge in excess, but Slanesh does not like it when you stop. You 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 must continue to keep going, even if even if it comes to the point of self sacrifice and you no longer enjoy it anymore. You feel nothing from it. Find a new way to experience it, or else Slash will get angry and use you as next fodder. Um, uh, yeah. So so it's, they're, they're like, oh, you're finally settling down and not fucking everything that stands. Oh, you don't feel joy from that anymore. Too bad. Feel joy from the fact that of something else. The noise marines rely off of that solely. Where they they've come to the point where they are so numb to anything because they've been on drugs for like the last 10,000 years and um uh on fucking like everything that they've, they've tried every stimulus known the man that they have that they have to get so desperate that they get high off the vibrations of just existing with like high am- uh, like amp like sa- is, sonic man? weapons that's where they have sonic weapons and shit like fucking, I mean, this like, is sonic just weapons. lemmy from motorhead yeah pretty much it, it is it's just like like they've done everything they They're feel nothing. Me. Yeah, exactly. No, the the like fucking Slanesh is the rock, um uh drug, sex, and rock and roll of um fucking the chaos gods. Um, and then Dan, would you like to explain your favorite one? Corn. Corn is your favorite one. Oh, nice. I you're a Nurgle boy. No. No. I, I can respect Nurgle, but goddamn, if I don't love my skulls for the skull throne and blood for the blood god. That's fair. I I I respect it. Red does compliment Pink very well, but 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 as a Slanish fan, I gotta disagree with you. Anyways, um, I, did you want to explain it? Or did you want me to explain corn? Um, you can probably do a better job explaining the lore. All right, makes sense. Uh, so yeah, so then corn, corn is one. Uh, um, uh, corn is one of the oldest. Um, uh, supposedly the oldest. Uh, between him or Nurgle. Oh, is it uh, corn like all about like honor though? Like he doesn't lie yes. like ever. Um, sort of. So um, all of all of the chaos gods have good characteristics in mm-hmm. air quotes. Basically, yeah. we're uh with uh, fuck, here. How uh, do I explain it? <laughs> uh, trying to explain here. good things about a demon. <laughs> No, no, here, here uh, to example, uh, Slanesh may also may be the god of overindulgence, um, excess, and um, uh, and what's it called? Fucking uh, sin and desire. Um, it is also the god. Uh, it's also the god of love, um, uh, happiness, and and uh, what's it called? Experiencing new things and stuff like that. Oh, that's like, dope. That's what I mean. If you it, like, like Slanesh likes it when you're happy, because when you're happy, you're experiencing things, and when you're experiencing things, you're going over the top, and when you're going over the top, they really like that. Um, Corn, on the other hand, um, uh, Corn may be seen as a very uh, like he's the god of honor and what's it called? 
um, respect, you know, the, the stoicness, like, like the the idea of a fucking warrior standing strong and being proud of himself, like pride yeah. is a lot of his thing. But he's also the god of like murder, death, destruction, ruin, blood, violence. It's, oh, it's polluted. It's polluted by everything else. War, fucking, like, like because corn, corn is a is a very aggressive creature. Um, uh, it, it it lives to see the rivers tainted, his throne grow higher, and to see people die, like die yeah. as fast and as brutal as possible. He does um, not uh, care from whence the blood flows. Exactly, exactly. It doesn't matter if it's his own followers, the enemies, or both, as long as something is flowing and there's a new skull on his throne. He will be pleased. Will be. Um, and the reason why you're like, wow, that sounds like shit. Why would I ever want to join fucking Korn? Um, uh, well, Korn's temptation is the fact that he is the, he is the god that lets you go loose. He, you, you remember those Wait. moments like, yo, you ever feel you want to just go ape shit? Just, j- j- just scream to the heavens and just let oh, so loose we'll, and go so ham? We'll go loose in like the more primal way and not... Uh... Yeah, so n- way. yeah. Let l- let let less sex drugs. More like m- more like r- the appeal of a rage. Picture there's, like there's the appeal re- of the rage. There's rager. a reason why Corn and Slanesh don't get along. They don't know it because both of them are the exact opposite. Both of them want people to die because you experience something when you die, and dying is messy and bloody. But and Slanesh wants combat. you to die slow. Exactly. Yeah, she wants she wants you to experience pain because pain is still an experience, and excess pain is what she also enjoys. Um, whereas Corn wants to be like, you're dead, <laughs> you're boom, done, you're gone, Just boom, instant, more, uh, another skull, more blood, keep going, keep going. Like, it, it, it's it's comparing the fucking, um, uh, so it's, Corn like, it's isn't all about pain, it's just the end product of pain. No, exactly, yeah, you know, he hates pain. Oh. He, 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 remember, he's God of Honor, too. Um, he, well, he thinks he, he, he doesn't want he doesn't want people suffering, he wants people to die. Like yeah. if you're suffering, that is unhonorable and what's it called, cowardice, because that That's means you're relying right. on outside right. motives instead of your your own strength and morals to um uh, to slay this man. He's got good people that can already slay people way quicker than you're killing him right now. Mm. You, you want to fucking kill people slowly? Go join the pussy people over at Sanash. Um, uh, is like the kind of idea with corn. It's why also why corn's so fun. Plus, red is a really I'm easy. I'm now referring to, be to all. All Slanesh parties as pussy people. Pussy people. I am a pussy person. It's... <laughs> <laughs> Nurgle. I as puss oh, this is this is the one that I kind of like. I like. Nur- yeah, Nur- Nurgle, another one of the older ones. Um, he he is he is the god of plagues, diseases, um, uh, stagnation. And rot, but he's also the, he's also the god of of life, and oh and cycles. You know, he, he, uh, it's him and Zeus that don't get along. And, gro- and growth. He also likes growth, but he 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 likes when things grow, but does not change. Um, uh, like like picture the life cycle compared to it, because instead of like, but no evolution. Oh. Um, uh, he, he, he um, uh, Nurgle, because because Nurgle loves all things in life. Even down to the nittiest, grittiest of microorganisms. In fact, he, those ones are his favorite. Um, cause, cause cause they, yeah, because they can stay the same, yet they grow so quickly. Um, uh, and, so he's, and so he spends all of his days in, like, with a cauldron brewing up new things and testing it on his fucking Eldar godwife. Um, uh, yeah, he's, he's got a wife? A, kind of. Not a wife, really. Um, or it's, more like a tester. Yeah, it's just an Eldar person in his garden. Yeah, he just um, has uh, an Eldar chained in his garden. An, an, an Eldar goddess, yeah. Um, uh, oh my god, I forget her name. Um, but she, I, she was the, not important. Yeah, she, she's the goddess of life. She can't die, so she's she's the perfect experiment to test all of her diseases on when she doesn't have a death guard available. Um, uh, let's just say she's not living the best life right now. Um, either way, um, uh, then for Nurgle, um, what's it called? Now, everything is just constantly fucking brewing, going over. And everything is living, dying, living, dying, living, dying, never changing, staying the same, going up, going down, going up, going down. 
Um, uh, he 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 likes it when there's like a like a neutral like like when when you're when you grow and fester, like when you when you fester in something when you when you when you when you spread your rot and fucking disease into something. Under um, the effects of the disease. Exactly. When you become under the effects of the disease, like Diddy Kong, then what's it called? You will exp- you are pleasing Nurgle. No one is gonna get that joke except for three of us in this room. Did he- <laughs> No, this yeah, Mer- I, I, I've shown you the meme. Two of you. No, do you remember the meme I sent earlier? Was like Diddy Kong under the effects of the disease. And like, <laughs> funny. And like his skin I... looked like it came out from a chowder episode. I yeah. have not seen this picture. Anyway, well, we will gonna gonna show you I'll after. Show you later. I'll show you later. Yeah, exactly. Um, uh, for Nurgle, um, uh, the, the 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 temptation for joining Nurgle is one of don't 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 you just want to have everything stay the same. You don't want to things to be complicated, all right? Like, we 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 all want to be able to kick back and just let wild life go. Doesn't mean you just need to take some time, fucking just watch the flowers grow, and then grow, and then die, and then grow. To to sit back and watch the world fall like around you while you sit, you enjoy it from a view of unchanging, uh, unaltered bliss. To sit right. back. Relax and enjoy a healthy dose of full-on eye content. Ex- exactly. Yeah, come, come in your eye. And then come <laughs> in. <laughs> I also just really like what is it? Just like the the model designs that are like Nurgle adjacent because they're all very round and friend shaped. Yeah, like the well, great well, clean well, one. It's called ga- yeah, well, yeah. That's called gastrointestinal. Like, like that's called um uh, fucking post mortal gastrointestinal bloating. Yeah, I know the shape of a friend known as Nurgle. The shape of a time bomb if you stab them wrong. Well, I'm gonna go stab him. Go big ol' hug. Boomer coming. Is that yeah, pretty much the boomer. Uh, oh, yeah, and, uh, and uh, that's the gist. On, of, yeah, that's the that's last the gist of Nurgle. Um, and then Scene. He's personally my least here, but he's still really cool. He's the trickster boy. He's yes, he is. Um, uh, he uh, to explain Scene would undermine what Sinch is. He's the complete opposite of Nurgle, right? Of just he, wanting it, everything anything, to change. Yes, he, he, he does he despises stagnation. He would much rather there be no life and have it constantly change. This man fucks uh, up his own plans. Exactly. Literally for like for fun. Like oh, there okay. there he can see he can see the future. Right. And no, no, he they have they have a thing called the Great Game, where they're all trying to like be- become the top god. And Zinch was almost there, and then he fucked himself up because he didn't want to. <laughs> he didn't want to. He didn't want to stop playing yet. Exactly, because he didn't want to stop playing. It's like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Um. Uh, so yeah. Um. He 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 is the god of what's it called? Um. Uh, of change, which is both good and a bad thing. Um. Uh, magic. Um, uh, oh, he's like, I didn't know he was the god of magic. He's the okay. magic god. Everyone in their everyone in his armies are like psychers or spellcasters for their fantasy. Um, uh, he um, uh, he's also the god of um, I'm trying to make uh, like, time, like time, knowledge, fucking um, uh, right, because isn't his champion like a two headed bird person? Uh, that's his uh, that's his daemon champion. Yes. Um, uh, they they have it. They have a. They have a uh, fuck. What is? Because the uh, the great unclean one is, is like it, Nurgle, it's, right? It's not the keeper of secrets, is it? No, keeper of secrets is um uh is um the generic um uh greater daemon for Slanesh. Really? Yeah. Um. Uh, uh, I I know I uh, I know for hers well for Slanesh's um uh, greater demon that's named a uh, Shalaxi Hellbane and then you got um a uh, Scarbrand for um uh um uh, for corn. corn and then um uh Rod- Rodigus 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 I think Rodigus is his name he's a God, he's kind of like a big... fucking name yeah Rodigus and then the name of fucking what's the name of the fucking two-headed bird i can't remember it's a it's a big two-headed uh, uh sure, lord of sure. change 
Um, sure, if you want. Like I'm one gonna... sees into the future, one looks into the past, but none can see the present. Um, I think it kind of works like that. Um, uh, I, one there of them is always the truth. One of them, it's one of those situations where one always tells truths, one of them tells lies. You don't know which one. Oh, it's um, like Cairo uh, Fate uh, Weaver. Yes, Kairos Fate Weaver. Thank you. Um. Uh. Anyways, so yeah. So that's his name. Um. Uh, but back, yeah, it's, it it do be a two headed Lord of Change. Yeah. Um, um. And back on the topic of change. Um. Uh, that is. That is Sinch's mantra. Um. Uh. If, if it is not changing, why do it? Why? Um. Uh. He he despises seeing anything same, anything the same the second time he looks at it. Like if he looks at it once, he wants it to be completely different by the time he looks at it again. By t- by the time he blinks, it better be different. Um. Uh, oh, he would love a certain yeah. dimension in Dungeons and Dragons. Yes, he would. Um. Uh. Yeah. Either way. Um. And for him, um. Uh. No. No price is ever too high to pay when it comes to trying to make change and adaptation. Um, uh, so much oh, so that, he, that, that that sometimes can, people consider the biggest enemy to Sinch is himself. Because, like Dan said, he's actively fucked up his own plans of winning right, and to, be just, like the greatest being, god. to being the greatest god. Because he was just like, why would I want to? Because that means I'll never change after that. That's disgusting. Um, uh, like, like, no, it doesn't. That's the point. If it's making sense, I'm doing it for him. Okay, I was going to say. Because the only person that knows what's going on in Siege's head is Siege, and even then I he doesn't. Mean, know. I don't even think that. That's what I mean. Even then he doesn't know. He 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 sees the future. He knows what will and what always will happen. You can look into the past, present, future, time, whatever. It is it is his. Um. Oh. Uh, so he he will always know the wrong way to go about doing things, and he always makes sure to do it uh do the wrong way correctly or the right way wrong incorrectly. Hmm. Um. Yeah, oh, and then and then to join, and then also the quickly just to join, like the like since I gave everyone else the why you joined Sinch, uh, you joined Sinch for kind of the opposite reason you joined Nurgle is because you despise the current state of the world. You want you want to see it become different. You want to see it become completely just to wipe the slate, start a new, wipe that slate, start another one. Exactly. You you are sick and tired of seeing the world waste away to nothing. Like what have you been witnessing it doing all over the place? Um, uh, you 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 want to change something, man. You want to do something, you know. Experience stuff, adapt, be your own man. Um, uh, and as long as you don't mind being your own man, you can be your own man. That sounds better than being in the Imperium. I'm not gonna it's, lie. Every single one of these sounds, but that's the point. I, I, yeah. Notice how I was notice how I was hamming it up because here's the thing: you also got to keep in mind that every single one that I listed off there. You are now in the internal enslavement of a demon. Well, I guess so. <laughs> I was hamming it up to make it sound delicious and tainted. It did nice. sound pretty. The new mic is doing wonders. <laughs> That's true. Which one do you think sounded the most tempting? Honestly, Where, where's your allegiance fallen, fucking Zachary? Mm. I'm with Slanesh. Dan's with fucking Corn. Where are you sitting, I'm boy? A, I'm a Nurgle boy. I'm a Nurgle, a Nurgle boy. boy. Hey, there we go. Just sitting there, just watching. You fucking pump, uh, 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 pus rotten cum monster, you. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm the fucking goo lord. Exactly, the glory, if you may. <laughs> also, while I was looking up photos for, or I was looking for uh, Kairos, mm-hmm. uh, came across an eBay ad, and I want you guys to guess how much this costs in USD. Oh, uh, for what? Uh, a fully painted. Uh, Kairos Fate Weaver. At least a grand. Wait. 400 and... Oh, oh 400? That's actually a really good price. Uh, 400? You what? get the guess, you bastard. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> what, do you want to guess? Yeah, I think, I think it's 400. Well, it's actually 436. You're still wrong. You dummy. Price is right rules. I'm better. I guess so. Wait, Evan, did you say how much do do these figures go for painted? Well, no, I was gonna say I was saying at least a grand because it's like it depends on how well painted it was. Usually, people that are willing to sell their their product fully painted, especially for such a big model, usually ask for like a lot to sell them for more. 
Uh, you can if it's fully painted, built, and based. Um, uh, cause then that is more than just the plastic. And that is, that is an art piece at that point. Oh, Jesus Christ. You are it, right. It, it, I'm... It, that's what I mean. It, it's like comparing the idea of what's it called? It's like, it, it, it'd oh be like God. if someone, yeah, it's, it's like saying that the Mona Lisa is worth as much as buying a canvas. Yeah, Evan, a fully painted Magnus the Red is a thousand dollars on Etsy. Told ya. Um, uh, what the fuck? Yeah, because well, do you know how big those fucking models are? Yes, they're Magnus, the same size I, as my Gundam. No, the Magnus the Red is probably bigger. <laughs> He's a big a boy. Master grade? Yes, easily bigger than a Master Grade, man. Fucking like 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 if we're counting wing size, then yes, that this oh, bit, this bitch will dwarf you. Um, Ooh, uh, you're you're asking for a lot when you're coming to wing size in the Gundam house. I, I know, but I'm coming up to the wing size in the fucking Magnus the Red. Do you know what Magnus the Red's model looks like? Uh, I am looking it in the face right now. Uh, go, oh Perfect. yeah, that's those are big wings. <laughs> He's bigging. Um, uh, so and they also go really high. Oh. To emphasize how fucking big he is, because he was always think, the biggest part. So it's like I think the sense part that kills me is the fact that it's seventy eight dollars for shipping. Jesus. <laughs> now that's the part that I can't get behind. Yeah. Uh, that reminds me how I need to actually. Uh, well, I need to find someone around town that is willing to do commission paintings, and I want to find out how much they're charging so I can get them to paint up my model of Sigvold the Magnificent. Oh. Yeah. I'm sure you'll, you'll find some place around here. I'm sure we will. But yeah, um, also, was there anything else you wanted to talk about, by the way? Uh, it seems that we're wrapping up on around a little bit before the two-hour mark, so uh, do you guys want to give a sign-off? A little bit of a different episode. It felt like a lot more educational. Yeah, what are we doing fucking learning? Do we just learn? No, I'll give fucking... you all a chance to talk about Warhammer. <laughs> All fucking never, five. Never, never ever give us another pedestal to talk about Warhammer. Please, no. It'll become educational. We can't have this. This is disgusting. No, I love doing this, but I, 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 I feel bad for the fans because, like, because we just, we just gave them info and knowledge, and they're like, "Oh, cool. That's not what I came here for." It's I called. Here. It's called the Dumb Bum Podcast. Exactly. Right? They're, they're like, I, we came here to listen to three dickheads scream at each other. And cry over this one was stuff. only two dickheads. This is only Explain two, two dickheads. Third dickhead. and one of them is learning. He's not. Be- he's becoming the opposite of a dickhead. I'm a vagina. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? A pussy people. <laughs> he's a pussy person. <laughs> oh well, Dan. Did you want to give the sign offs? Tell them where you can listen to this podcast. Where, where, where can they listen? Yeah, where well, they can listen person? to this podcast on Spotify. And other podcast platforms as well as on YouTube. By the time this goes out, bro, we sound like we're, we're on YouTube. We're, bro, are we on yeah, YouTube? Yeah, I started to upload the episodes on YouTube. Bro, are, are we shilling hard now? Yeah, Not hard. hard. We, don't, we don't have our OnlyFans yet. That's true. Yet. I'm we, sta- we established yeah. last episode we're going to get an OnlyFans if it comes down to it. Dude, we, 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 we get fucking. Like, 5, if we have 000. to choose between this or a Patreon, like, OnlyFans or a Patreon, we're going with the OnlyFans. Yeah, exactly, yeah. The, 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 we get 5,000 viewers, we'll, st- uh, we'll fucking start it. If we get 10,000 u- viewers, um, uh, you may get a picture of my asshole. Don't actually... <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to see your chocolate starfish right now, Evan. I don't want to see it either. <laughs> Please. Oh, have you not don't let us become bottle? popular. What? 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 You've never seen I your fucking, own butthole? Of course I've fucking seen it. What did you take me okay. for a fucking caveman? I just don't want to look at it. Understandable. I, I don't want other people like... to look at it. <laughs> so please don't let us become famous. One of us say something fucking controversial. Get us... Oh. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, his mic has died. Oh, that's pretty freaking cool. Bro, my headphones died like 10 minutes ago. That's oh, I see. Well, Dan, do you want to give the sign-off? No. Motherfucker, this is your episode. No. 
Just say it. Oh, just say it. Idiot. <laughs> Thanks for watching the Dump Up Podcast. Bye. Bye. And then we're cutting the there. Acer test is a multi capacity <laughs> test that progressively gets more difficult <laughs> as it continues. Kids.